Hey everybody, Big Mattis Golf Channel. Channel that tries to uh, give you some stuff that's a bit outside the box, not your usual, uh, not your usual spiel that's thrown at you when you go for um, when you go for lessons at your uh, local pro or something. We just try and think a bit outside the box, try and give you some unusual drills, tips and tricks, uh, stuff like that. We realize. Or at least our philosophy, or my philosophy, is that um, is that you really have to find your own swing. Okay, uh, there are a lot of swing uh, methods, theories out there, and really, uh, not a single one is going to be um, foolproof or apply solely to you. You need to do a bit of research, mix and match, um, and find your own way. Which brings me neatly onto uh, the topic of this video. Actually, before I do that, um, I'll just quickly um, hey everybody, Mig Mattis Golf, the channel that tries to uh, concentrate on uh, stuff slightly outside the usual box, okay? Um, try and give you some different stuff that you might not come across uh, with your local uh, PGA Pro or teacher. Um, when you go for lessons, um, it tends to be some very standard stuff that's uh, taught to everybody, what they call the fundamentals. Meg Mattis Golf doesn't really believe in those fundamentals to a certain degree. And um, we just try and like, uh, well we realize, or I realize, that not everybody learns the same way and a lot of the uh, teaching methods out there are just packages. They're packages designed to sell you something and they're designed to make you believe that if you adopt those methods you'll become a good golfer. And I don't believe in that, okay, I believe everybody's got to find their own swing and uh, you've got to use a combination of all these different methods or trial and error, try all these different methods and see what works for you. So uh, if you're frustrated with conventional golf instruction, you're not really getting anywhere, this is the channel for you. This is where you're going to find the little stuff that's outside the box and um, hopefully, hopefully uh, something will resonate with you. You'll be able to apply it and uh, get better. So. Um, we're not trying to sell you anything. We're not trying to package something. We're a bit all over the map, but you watch enough of the channel, you'll find something that works for you and that you can apply to your swing. So please subscribe, um, you know, go watch the other videos. Hopefully give us a thumbs up and leave some comments. It's always interesting um, to hear what other people are thinking. So um, that leads me neatly to on the subject, le uh, neatly onto the subject of today's video, which I'm going to title. I wish I'd think, think up these titles before I start recording. Um, let's see. Let's call it uh, Your Swing is Dictated by Your Body. Okay? What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to tell you a little story. I went with a mate of mine who's uh, pretty small in stature, he's about five foot six. So a couple of years ago, I went with him to his local teaching center and because uh, he was gonna have a lesson, he was struggling with his game. And usual thing, we got there, just a half hour's lesson. The local pro put him, uh, well, got him to warm up, you know, hit a few balls, then um, started recording his swing and then we went into the office and he said, right, here's what's wrong with your swing. And he put them on a split screen. And who did he bring up on the other side of the screen? Ernie Els. And I literally had to do everything in my power not to just get up and walk out. So this friend of mine is about five foot six, um, pretty small build and he sticks him on one side of the screen and he puts Ernie Els on the other and he compares him to Ernie Els and he tells him how he should be swinging like Ernie. 
Uh, where do I even start? This stuff drives me crazy, right? So forget, forget about the fact that their two bodies are completely different visually, like, you know, six foot four, five foot six, probably 225 pounds, probably 145 pounds wet is my, my mate. And um, they have nothing in common. Length of their limbs is different. The, the everything's different. I don't even know where to start. So, um, yeah, I, I get frustrated with, uh, with stuff like that. And really, the shape of your swing or how you swing is really, like I said, dependent on what your body can do and how it's built. We're all different and we should not be all swinging the same way. Uh, the pros don't all swing the same way. Why do you think that is, right? And, uh, and why we're at it, have you ever noticed how um, pros that try and emulate a method or get into certain positions or do something uh, visually always fall off the face of the planet? Okay, the really good consistent pros own their swing. They learn how their body needs to swing the club to be consistent. That's the key in golf, consistency. And they stick with that. That's the secret, my friends. So um, let's use moi as an example. My Achilles heel is flexibility. Played a lot of football as a kid. Uh, didn't take up golf until I was about mid-20s, um, sadly. But over the years, I've you know, tried to swing like different people or try to get into different positions. And it's taken me a long time to realize that um, that, is, that is just futile. I'm wasting my time. Um, and if I could give you an example, um, my lack of flexibility is mostly in my upper body, my shoulder areas, my lats terrible terrible not too bad in the hips and the hamstrings you know i can touch my toes but up in the shoulder area if i give you an example watch this i'm going to try you know how you try and touch your hands behind your back this is as far as i can go and i'm not making this up i can't get any closer than that with my finger i mean that's ridiculous right so what does that mean that means that when I, you know, when I take the club back, I get to a certain position where it's extremely uncomfortable for me in the shoulder area to get, to get any higher. And because of that, because of that, I've discovered that when I try and get into these positions like here, I, it's uncomfortable and it pulls me out of my posture and I start manipulating the club it's just horrible. So I'm resigned to the fact I've discovered that I need to, that's it. That's the extent of my backswing. If I want to be able to repeat it, I need to do that. Now, you might think, well, that's terrible. You're never going to generate distance and all of that. Pfft, nonsense. Go look at John Rahm or some, <laughs> or some other things. I've got to show you this. Hang on. Here's it, Alice. This is what Alice does to my balls. It's a nice multi-layer ball, been mashed in by the dog. There you go. Anyway, uh, where was I? Yeah, I've discovered that that is the extent of my backswing. If I want to be consistent, if I want to be able to repeat it, and you can go watch on tour, plenty of players have short backswings, still generate the speed. Because all your body does, all your body does is it learns that from there, that's where the swing starts, and it can still hold on to all this lag and create major speed at the bottom. Um, an interesting experiment, in fact, if you deliberately try and shorten your swing, you'd be surprised how much distance you can get. There's not much difference between, let's say, your three-quarter swing and your full swing. That's an interesting experiment in itself. But anyway, the point of this video is you need to analyze your body, find out where your limitations are, and find out how your body moves the best. 
okay? You might be very flexible and lanky and your body feels good making this really wide, big turn with an overswing. If that's the way your body works best, so be it. Don't fight it. If you're like me, extremely like, you know, tight in certain areas, and that's it, that's the extent of your backswing, then don't fight it. Just go with that. That's how you're going to be able to repeat something. Forget about everybody that tells you you should look like this person or that person or this is the way to swing a golf club. All that's utter nonsense. If you follow this channel, please do, and you watch all my other videos, you'll realize that all that is complete. Well, there's no data to back any of that up. Put it that way, okay? Loads of swings out there are completely different, and yours does not need to copy anybody else's. There are certain things, or there are certain ways that the club needs to come into the ball in order to compress it and create straight shots. That's a given. But how you get there, there are a myriad of ways, a myriad, a myriad of ways, okay? So anyway, I'm going to end it on that. Like I said, your swing, your swing is completely dependent on your body. Don't let anybody tell you that you need to look like some other person on a video. I don't have too much problem with them saying, look at what this or these pros do you know, look at the positions they get into. I don't have a problem with that, but when they're telling you to copy this person or try and get into that same position, you might be completely wasting your time. You might spend years in the wilderness like I have, just trying all these different things, thinking that you should be in these positions when really that's not what your body will allow you uh, to do. It doesn't happen in any sport. Um, let's just take tennis for an example. When Rafael Nadal came out on tour, everybody was like, what the, how does he grip that thing? And what is that massive top spin forehand? Nobody had hit the ball like that before, okay? Uh, but that's how he did it. That's how his body was comfortable doing it. And it was different and it got the job done. So find out how to best swing for yourself. It's the best advice I can give you. I can't actually hit a couple balls for you. There's somebody riding in the outdoor school. So I don't want to kill anybody, but please uh, subscribe to the channel. Give us some, some thumbs up, leave some comments, all that good stuff, tell your friends. All right, catch you again soon, bye.